Hey guys, Skrull Got Game. And PC Outcast. And we are back, finally, to do some more Book of Unwritten Tales. And we were just trying to remember where we were. I think that we have to go talk to Death about the live burial stuff. So. Right. Ooh. Nice. Um. How do I get to the thing again? Oops, not like that. What are you trying to do? Um, the map. You were in the inventory. You just had to click on the oh, map. I should click on the map. Right, right. Okay. Over. So we're this, we're this there. Is where we are. Yeah. Right. To this. All right. To the ship. Let's go. Hurry, run quickly. <laughs> run with those short little. Oh. Oh, hello. Oh, he's got the hat on. Uh oh. What, or does? What yeah, he does. Exactly. Are you doing that? What does it look like? I've dug a grave. Ah. With grandfather's old spade in my hand and father's top hat on my head. It's simply brilliant. I asked the wealthy showman about risk capital. He may want to join us. Excellent. It's going to be a success, I'm certain. There's a real gap in the market. It makes you wonder why no one thought of it before. Mm. I can I think wonder. of a thousand good reasons right off. <laughs> How are the trials going? So far, so good. It didn't take long to dig the grave. I've got the coffin here. Though of course, it doesn't meet the standards we're aiming for, but it's good enough for the trials. Certainly. Yes, good. sweet. Then climb in. What? Uh, excuse me. Er, uh, huh? Uh, huh? Hmm? <laughs> Uh, and you will have the honor of being the first to be buried. I'm afraid of the dark. As a shareholder, I demand a better coffin. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I, I want a more attractive coffin. After all, I, I am a partner in the firm. You're right. But the delivery will take a few days. We have to use the time we have before then. Come on, hop in. No. No. <laughs> no. no, no. <laughs> I'm afraid of the dark. I'm afraid of the dark. And claustrophobic. And I'm terrified of coffins. Ha! That's fantastic. Then we can find out how to deal with problem customers. <laughs> Come on, jump in. Oh, crap. No. <laughs> You're trying your darndest. This is not working. And you will have... How about you have the honor of being the first? It was your idea. You should have the honor of being the first to be buried. Oh, that's... That's so courteous of you. Credit where credit is due. All right then. Well, oh, I, I was I'm too long with the top hat on. Could you hold it for me? Ah. With pleasure. Thank you. Very comfortable thus far. Now, pile the soil on top. Are you certain? Of course. Just do it. Fantastic. The darkness. The silence. You have to try this. We should have funeral music. And the customer should have his photo taken with me beforehand. Write that down, Wilbur. And we'll have canopies for the bereaved. Have you got that, Wilbur? Canopies and gun salutes. Cannons, Wilbur. We need cannons. Mm. Sounds great. Silently buries him. <laughs> I hope he's happy now. Pat, pat, pat. I can't believe we buried death. Uh, can we look at that? I'll leave him there until I beat to see the Archmage. Otherwise, he might try and bury me next. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'll leave him there until I beat to see the Arch. Right. Okay. Anything else I can do over here? I think we're good, but yeah, we can check. <sighs> I tore the page with my name on it out of a book. I hope death doesn't get in any trouble. All right. All right. Well, back to the Archmage. Oh, no. We have to... I guess we have to go... Do we have to talk to... Um, do we have to talk to... Uh, what's his name? The guy with the giant hamster in his thing. I can't remember his name. He has a giant banner with oh. his name on it, but I can't remember. Um, yeah, that Weber, Weber man. Yeah. Weberman. Does guy? he have to teach us the trick, or did he teach us already? 
So he's like, I have to go back to the Archmage before I dig him up. Hello. Wilbur, what can I do for you? Uh, oh, okay, yeah. We did have to talk to him. Some spell. <laughs> I, can't, I forgot what I meant. I uh, had to pry it from death's icy grasp, so to speak. He kind of handed it well, to us. At last, we've got everything. Come over here. <laughs> Come Put the top hat on the table. There you Put go. Put the rabbit in. Uh, I said in. Now I'm putting a black cloth into the hat. Look <laughs> this on top and finished. As you can see, an empty top hat. But you have to do a lot of arm waving and the like. The audience mustn't be allowed to get a proper look at the hat. Then you say a few incantations and make a big to do about it. You haven't got a pretty assistant, have you? Isn't that... Once the excitement has reached boiling point, then... Ta-da! You pull the rabbit out of the hat, but make sure the cloth stays in the hat. Otherwise, the whole trick is blown. <laughs> Quite blown. Clever, isn't it? That's fraud. <laughs> not magic either. <laughs> uh, of course not, but it looks like it. <sighs> but, but, but I wanted to learn a real spell. Poor Wilbur. Are you out of your mind? That takes months. I, I can't just swindle my way to my diploma with a trick like that. Or can you? Excuse me. You said you wanted to get your mage degree, and you said you needed it quick. This is your only chance. Oh, what choice do I have? Good luck with the show. <laughs> this is gonna end fantastic. I'll just be going. I'm sure. I have you. seen that you're going Wonderful. to come back. See you then. Oh, I'm gonna come back because it didn't work. <laughs> you fraud! <laughs> now I'll never get my diploma. Oh dear. And it's all your fault. You know, it seems foolproof to me. I mean, how could it go wrong? How could it possibly go wrong? I could think of a thousand different ways. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, Master Teacher. What is it? I'm going to show you my spell. <laughs> I'd like to show you the trick. Uh, spell. I look forward to it. I can't wait. As you can see, the top hat is completely empty. Oh. <clears throat> Abracadabra. Is he actually going to do a spell? Bunny, are you okay? Fantastic. What did he do? You've almost transformed the rabbit in the hat into a sheep. That's extraordinary. Almost impossible. There must be considerably more magic in you than I ever thought, Wilbur Weathervane. Oh. oh, thank you. Well, I had a fantastic assistant. I'm speechless. Poor You're the thing. first gnome in centuries to become a graduate mage. Wow. You pass the exams quicker than anyone else in history. What's your secret? Some clever person tell, tell me? Some clever person tell me what I have to do. Ah, the, the good English, though. <laughs> yes. <laughs> goodly, goodly much English. <laughs> when you believe in yourself, you can achieve anything. There's no secret. That was just pure hard work. <laughs> oh yes, indeed. When you believe, you can achieve. I, believe I can do anything I want if I just believe in myself. Oh uh, really? You could fly like a bird just because you believe in yourself. Well, maybe not that. But that's exactly what you've done. You've achieved something impossible. Can I or can't I, Master Teacher? Or it was predestined. Oh. As unbelievable as it is, you've passed all three exams. Wait. Oh, wait. I can't believe he did actual magic. <laughs> Mage degree for Wilbur Weathervane from the White Ridge Mountains. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> My brother won't believe his eyes. <laughs> your brother? The Archmage. Really? Oh. The Archmage is your brother? Yes, of course. 
He always believed that our bleak fate would take a change for the better. And slowly, I'm beginning to believe that again, too. You've given me hope, Wilbur Weathervane. You know that? Wow. Nothing can stop you. You're a fine example to me. Wow. If there's wow. anything I can do for you, come back. You have a friend in me. You have a friend in me. Oh. Oh. Now, oh, 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 Give my brother what you came to give him. <coughs> oh, his hat. Wow, look at the hat, though. I can still look at this. I'm alive again. <laughs> and hopefully I'll stay that way for a long time. At any rate, I'm not going back there again. Right. Wow, that... We should go unbury death. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Well, do, we're supposed to go to Oh, the, we're supposed to go to the Archmage first. Archmage You're first. right. Yeah. Well, aren't we here? Can I not, oh, I thought I could... We just have to... Yeah. I could teleport up there. Look ah. at look at that outfit, man. He looks so good. Oh, oh. oh. hello, Mr. King. Look, I'm a certified mage. I told you you'd do it. We're all so proud of you. Thanks. Our work is now done. We are all well fed. I think it's time to say goodbye. Adios, amigo. Oh, you want to leave for the country? That's right. But if you want to come and visit us, Master Wilbur Weathervane will always be welcomed by us lads. So long, Wilbur. See you soon. Cool, I wonder if we'll run into him again. Yeah. Living their dreams. All right, mister. I can't, this is gonna be so satisfying. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Shieldhand. Hello, Mr. Underhill. What do you want? I have my mage diploma and now wish to be admitted to see the Archmage immediately. Cast Make a your eyes snappy. on this. Effective immediately. You may address me as Master Weathervane and I wish to see the Archmage now. Weathervane? How come Weathervane? That's my mage name. Master Wilbur Weathervane. Now open the gate and smartly. I wish to speak smartly. to the Archmage. Make it snappy. Oh. oh, he didn't do anything. Uh, he was so shocked. He just <laughs> sat there. Oh. Uh, they couldn't possibly be brothers. And what is it? Why is this gnome wearing mage clothing? Look at his Your face. Uh, this is Master Wilbur Weathervane, <laughs> okay, well, an accredited <laughs> mage and therefore a member of your order. <laughs> I know all the mages in the land. But, but it's true. I completed my degree today under your brother's tutelage, Master Marcus. That's impossible. I've no time for such absurdity. Take your leave, no? But I'm supposed to give you something. A ring. A ring? From whom? From the From Dark Lord. Gremlin. Yesterday, he landed right on my feet in the White Ridge Mountain. <laughs> that was yesterday? This wow. <laughs> this is the longest the day ever. Hmm. Master Alistair, oh. I turn to you in great haste as well as in great fear. I have made a discovery that could decide all of our fates. I know where the artifact of destiny is to be found. Your Serene Highness, you know the stories. A legendary artifact created by the goddess of destiny and providence. An extraordinarily precious and dangerous thing, <laughs> as good fortune <laughs> is bestowed on its carrier. Everything that he attempts succeeds. Everything that he desires, he receives. Everything bends to his will, always. Oh, is that why we're succeeding? It's a truly uh. dreadful power. A god's power. Aw, Wilbur doesn't Just actually have any magic. <laughs> this were to fall into the hands of the enemy. I have found that the artifact is hidden in a temple on a small island called Sordia. You must find it and bring it to safety. You must help us, Master Alistair. You're our only hope. <laughs> well done. Well done. And he even like looked away like Leia did. <laughs> oh my God. That was him. That was the gremlin who was taken away by these evil types on a dragon. Shades? The Shadow Army has taken this gremlin prisoner? Sir, we have to send everything and everyone to this island. Every ship, every griffin, every... Enough. <laughs> we have to behave inconspicuously. We don't know what information the Shades already have, and we mustn't help them get on the right track. No, sir. But if they have the Gremlin, then it'll only be a matter of time until we... 
The island of Sordia. Where the devil is that? I've never heard of it. I'll be leaving the city for a few days. I have to do some research in the archives. But the Seastone archives have lots of... Silence, guard! <laughs> Hush! I will send a group of trustworthy comrades to the island as soon as I've found it. And you... One word of this message, just one single word, to anyone, and I'll grind you into a fine powder. Understand? Oh, of course. Yeah, understood, sir. Go. Leave me alone with the youngster. And don't let anybody up here, mage or not. Understood? We just got it. Understood, Phew. sir. And you, Mr. Weather Thingy, you've done very well indeed. Ah, oh. Weather Vane, sir. Thank you. My granddad won't believe this when I tell him. <laughs> That won't be possible for some time. You will have to stay here and hold the fort. I want you what? to prepare for a small expedition. Find some companions. Two should be enough. You shall all go and fetch the artifact as soon as I have found the island. But when it comes to something as important as this, wouldn't it be better to send an experienced treasure hunter? Nonsense. No one knows you. You don't even exist as far as the enemy is concerned. You won't arouse any attention. That is our most important weapon in this matter. You'll be back long before the enemy even knows what's happening. But, uh, but I think... Enough said. I am the leader of the order, and this is an order. Choose two accomplices and wait here for me. And don't talk to anyone about this. Dismissed. Oh, okay. Can I take my sheep rabbit? <laughs> when? When will I be back? As soon as I can. It might take a few days for me to find the island we're looking for. The gremlin told me that a book hidden in his secret cellar describes the way to the artifact's location. Really? That's <laughs> really? good to know. That went better than I had hoped for. Uh... A fiendish plan, Mancus. Well done. Now you know where the artifact is hidden, and the real archmage will remain out of your tentacles for as long as I need. Mother will keep him busy. <laughs> Mother! She's summoned up all of her dark magic. When he returns, you will have the artifact of divine fate in your hands at last. And sea stone will burn, just like every other alliance town. <laughs> Man, he got me. I was not expecting that. No. I'm like, oh no. Oh, Man. Yesterday I was sweeping floors, and today I'm a certified mage and part of the greatest adventure since Nightilo fought the broccoli monster. An artifact that grunts unlimited power. Hopefully the shades never get wind of it. In their hands, something like that would definitely mean the end of the world. Okay, but I the thought the ring was the artifact. I hmm. find myself two companions and wait here for him. So, we still have magic. Oh. oh, there's a lot of things to look at. Okay, what's this? Wh Where are what? you... Wait, what? What? Uh, By the gods, that's a female orc. Here, uh oh, I guess he was town. like, I need to I see this orc lady. I must notify the town guard right away and uh -oh. Mr. Marcus. Together we must fight to the oh, last no. drop of blood. And I can hear you. Stay where you are. I'm uh, I'm a mage. So I see. A, a dangerous battle mage. Now that unto the hand I find doubtful. Who? Who are you? What do you want here? And how did you get here? A lot of questions. Give me one good reason why I should answer them. Her name is Elizabeth. <laughs> She's come here for the annual beauty contest and has brought a golden pegasus with her. He's called Bob. <laughs> pegasus is always white and is never called Bob. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Elizabeth. My name's Wilbur. Sure. <laughs> nice to meet you, Elizabeth. My name is Wilbur. I switch. am a bounty hunter and just passing through. Uh, are bounty hunters allowed to simply tie up you? Certainly. Bounty hunters and merchants are neutral in this war. Nobody right. wanted the bounty hunters. <laughs> I'm just waiting for Bill the Merchant who has my provisions. Oh. Then I'm on my he, way. He kind of left. I have no idea what's going on here, but the airship could be exactly what I need for my expedition. Yeah. Who did you just speak to? 
to no one. <laughs> Don't mind us. <laughs> There's no one here. We are not here. <laughs> Who are you, if you don't mind me asking? And why are you taking your? Where are you taking your prisoners? I still have to do something. Uh, where are you taking your prisoners? Where are you taking your, your your prisoners? That's none of your business, dwarf. They know, and that's enough. What a compliment! I'm not a dwarf. I'm a gnome. <laughs> Too right, shorty. Don't take any nonsense. Turn her into a sheep. I can only transform rabbits into a kind of a sheep. <laughs> Great. That's helpful. <laughs> I'm loving our Flynn Rider guy, whoever he is. <laughs> uh, well, if you don't mind me asking... Elizabeth, so that's your real name. Mm. So your name isn't Elizabeth. I am known as Mazaz. Wow. Or Sugar Lips, Greeny, or just, Oi, you fella! <laughs> and she is one lousy bounty hunter. That's right. I only catch imbeciles. Those who are even more stupid than me. I I have to go. I have to go. Can you see the merchant? Can you tell him that I'll rip his ears off if he doesn't turn up here soon? Isn't he gone? Sure. I thought he left. Yeah. All, All right. right. Let's examine look. things. Let's not look at that. Might be a fishing net or maybe one of those cargo nets. We were going to look at that fountain, but... Oh, we can take that. <laughs> Stuff it in my shirt. Coiled rope. It's been used a lot. <laughs> hey! What? what you think you're doing there? That's my rope. Oh, come Your on. rope? It belongs to the Mary and is therefore my rope. Perhaps you haven't quite understood this yet. The ship no longer belongs to you. It now belongs to me. Over my dead body. I. Um, um... Well, no matter who the rope belongs to, it, it's not mine. Sorry. <laughs> She's okay with us taking the net. A bale of cargo. Looks heavy. Maybe compressed cotton or the like. Oh. What? A bale of cargo. Looks heavy. Maybe compressed cotton or the like. Mm. Okay. Look at that plank. Along the gown beneath the plank, you wouldn't catch me standing on it. Mm-hmm. She's just standing like on the plank. That's true. I can't do anything with that plank as long as the bounty hunter is standing on it. Okay. What would we want to do with that? She really does look terrifying. I mean, I don't know what orc women usually look like, but that one, I wouldn't want to get on her bad side. I was hoping she would, like, reply. <laughs> as someone who comes from the mountains, I'm not really an expert on ships, but that's called a thingy. <laughs> is that the technical term? <laughs> I don't know what that pipe's for, but it has something to do with uh, airships. Ah. Mm. How many... As someone who comes from the mountains. Okay. And... Okay. I've never seen a creature like that before. It's similar to the demon from the inn. Maybe it's just an animal. <laughs> it doesn't really look like an ape. It's just hairy. Oops. Uh, hello. I just want to look at it again. It. It could be a kind of otter. An otter. A pork you otter. Pork you otter. They gave me the wrong coordinates. The coordinates were correct. Yeah, great. Some kind of weird orc system. Look at me. Do I look like an orc? Maybe they should have given me the coordinates for a human navigation system. Perhaps you could have simply listened while things were being explained to you at great length. I've been a captain for 15 years. I don't need things explained to me. Quite obviously you do. At the very least you might have noticed that it was not a stinking headquarters when you landed in the wedding cake! The bridesmaid looked pretty suspect. <laughs> ah, so that was why you decided to strip search them, was it? <laughs> what is happening? I don't know, and I don't... No, Can we touch? I don't think I should really talk to her unless I absolutely have to. Now that really was just bad luck. She can't blame me for that. No, of course not. The treasure simply flew away. What was I supposed to do? There was a whole herd of cows there and I had to give the shaman something. Perhaps you shouldn't have relieved yourself in their holy lake. Oh no. There weren't any signs. How was I to know that that moon thing was reflecting in it? Oh, never mind. If I were them, I would have just strung you up. Well, you can do that now. 
Do you really think you'll get away so lightly? <laughs> Sulk. Wow. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Hi. <laughs> Goodbye. Uh, yeah, hi. Goodbye. Uh, who are you? I'm Wilbur. Who are you? Someone with a tiny problem, as you can see. Could you do me a favor and whack that green lady over the head? Come on, Nate. I'm only doing the job here. Nate. I know the job market's tough, but yours is going to cost me my neck. Undoubtedly. Uh, so you're something like a pirate? Are you a pirate or something? No. Yes. Well, I have been called that occasionally, but I'm just about as much of a pirate as Mazaz here is a ballet dancer. I'm the captain of this proud ship, the Mary. I'm a freelance treasure hunter. You're a swindler. And you're a terrible ballet dancer. <laughs> I like ballet. <laughs> you're a treasure hunter, then you can help me. You're a professional treasure hunter. So you know your way around sunken temples and the like. Of course. I have traveled all across the skies to the ends of the earth. I've fought Cyclops and seen things that a man probably shouldn't have. Such as Mazaz here, for example. <laughs> Damn. If I show you a small island on the map, can you fly me there? Suppose I needed to travel to a certain island, and I could show you the island on a map. Could you bring me there? Well, apart from the fact that I'm sitting here in a cage, then sure. Then we'll just have to free you. <clears throat> Hello? I still happen to be here. <laughs> What's that got to do with it? Mm. See you later. <laughs> right. Take care, Shorty. Wilbur. Oh, dear. Okay. Captain oh. Nate is a treasure hunter. And he has his own ship. Someone like him would be perfect for my team. Mm -hmm. How do I get past that old right. lady? And all on my own? Magic. <laughs> Magic. Oh, let's see if we can... See what we were supposed to see over here. Now that really oh, was that just um, bad luck. Uh, she can't blame me for that. No, of course not. Oh, the they're having the same conversation again. What was I, I supposed to do? Supposed there to was a whole herd of cows well, there, and I had to give the shaman well. something. What is it? Is Perhaps it a dog? you shouldn't have relieved yourself of their holy it looks like leg. A... There weren't any signs. How was I to know that this moon thing was reflecting in it? Oh, never mind. Can you guys stop I yabbering? Them, I would have just <laughs> shown you one up. Of these down at the gate too. Well, you can I do that now. Guards used to patrol the town. Do you really think you'll get away so lightly? I'm a mage, not a fighter. And even so, I'd only be able to use that thing as a lance. <laughs> what are you um, calling cheating here? The there are different rules for that game. It looks pretty strong. Not one of them states the that it's legal to have extra oh, the pillar cards. Holes up looks pretty strong. Oh, okay. come on. So Every other this. person's cheated as right. well. What's the I've just made the game fair door? again by doing that. Uh, oh, okay. So Rose I go to the lower man. counter to the mage tower. Mage tower. Let's look at it. Don't you know who he is? How can anyone be that stupid Impressive that he can fight with someone like that? My order and I. Oh, but My order and I. He I won't forget that in a hurry. Maybe some You won't either. Once his darling mother is finished with you. It's so hard to keep track. He said that some mages can maybe teleport themselves or just climb really well. <laughs> sure. Right. I don't know how they get up there. Oh. Do I need to wait for them to argue now to pick this up? Really was oh. just bad luck. Try it. Blame me for that. No, of course not. The treasure Aha. simply flew You're away. You're so clever. What was I supposed to do? Bailey there was a whole herd of cows heavy. there, and I had to give the shaman something. Like. I wonder Perhaps if we can go to the mage tower and get some things as well. In their holy leg. I was wondering if there I can like pull the, the plank out How from underneath her. That that yeah, or like tie the oh, the mind. thing to her shoe and them, attach it to this and push that off or something. I don't know. Well, hmm. you can do that now. All right, let's go to the main. Do you really think you? They are just blathering away. Oh. Yeah, I was like, we haven't actually looked at anything in here. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. There's something on top of that cabinet. Some papers of some sort. Maps, maybe. That's too high. I can't reach. Darn. Dad always says, what you don't have in your head, you better have in your books. <laughs> Where to live by? I would have thought there'd be more books, yeah? No wonder the Archmage has gone elsewhere to seek information. Okay. That is probably the thickest book I've ever seen. <laughs> oh. Can I have a closer look? It says Encyclopedia Fantastica, yeah? Hmm. 
fantastic knowledge in just one volume. Okay. The strange thing is that most of the pages are completely blank. I mean, our world isn't that uninteresting. <laughs> the strange thing is that most ah, of the pages... Ah, so it's got a secret message on it, probably. Ah, uh, right. Okay. A huge map of the entire country, and I've only seen a tiny corner of it to date. There are a lot of small unnamed islands on the map, one of which is the island of Sordia, where the artifact of divine fate is hidden. But which one? Hmm. A huge map of the entire Okay. What are you drinking out of there, bird? Now that's what I call magic. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Huh? Floating The flower. flower keeps floating away from me. Maybe it's shy. <laughs> Floating furniture is really practical when you want to mop the floor. This is true. That is That's absolutely true. An excellent point. Strange idea stretching a map over a globe like that. How are you supposed to use it? Indeed. Uh, we can look up. That's a telescope. Grandad has one. The question is, is it a masterpiece of technology or magic? Or perhaps both? How does the Archmage get up there? Maybe he's a floating chair. Hmm. Maybe he has a floating chair. Hmm. Wow. No idea what these globes are supposed to represent, but they're gorgeous. <laughs> it is quite nice. I like how it's uh, it's going around the sun. Yeah. As it should be. Yeah. <laughs> like, I wonder what, what time period is this supposed to be? Well, I mean, none of those, like, those planets are not our planets. <laughs> That's true, but still. Uh, um, okay, okay. Well, we got the thing. We've got the net. Can we? What is our mage diploma? Oh, oh. how do you examine it again? Can I? Yeah. Remember, you you can like look at stuff. Is it left click or right click? Mage diploma for Wilbur Weathervane of the White Ridge Mountains. Won't the master brewer be amazed when I show him this? Indeed. Okay. And then... The net is a good two meters long and very strong. Two meters. A well-made rope approximately ten meters long. It should be able to withstand a great deal. Okay. And what does the amulet do? Master Marcus says it's a powerful magical amulet, but he couldn't tell me what powers the amulet has. Hmm. Maybe I'll never know, but at least I passed the exam. Okay. Right. Yeah. Well, I think we should wrap it up there for now. Okay. And then we'll try and figure out what we should do next time. Sounds good. Thanks for joining us. Yep. See you next time, guys.